Hi, we are Bo and Brady, and this is our Salty Pup Una. And over the past two years, we've been sailing full time on our sailboat, Sersha. If you're new here, we would be grateful if you subscribe and be sure to click the bell so you know when we release each week. Many thanks to all of our patrons out there supporting our channel above and beyond. And to you, thanks for watching. Good morning, friends. Good morning. We're alive. <laughs> we took a slight hibernation. We only slept for what, five, five hours? hours? Yeah. Our seven, what did we say it was going to take? 15 hours? Yeah. Took 21 <laughs> hours. And last night we got in and just in time for a lovely rainstorm. <laughs> just, just enough to clear off the decks, you know, get all that salt away. It was perfect. <laughs> But right now we're getting ready. We've got to go and check in officially to the uh, country. Country. Look at our. So we were in St. Lucia and the Grenadines for three Saint months. St. Vincent? Vincent. Oh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines for three months. This is what the flag looks like. Not too bad. You should have seen our Bahama flag when oh, we were done with that. Down. Our Bahama flag was like down to like here. It was nothing. That was only. Oh, that, that was, was like six, six months. months. Yeah. But our friends from Sam and uh, Scott are from fruit bat are going to come pick us up and we're going to head into town and i think there's a couple different processes to check in and the good thing is is that our other boat friends have already gotten here one life and two short so we already know the ropes we just have to get in there and do it these uh these guys because <laughs> i want bacon <laughs> yum you guys are the best thank you cleared our health inspections <laughs> and they gave us these little wristbands that we got to wear saying that, that we're clear and healthy <laughs> and now we got to go checking in immigration. That was pretty painless. <laughs> All we had to do is go in and check into the health administration building and give them our, our tests. And then we had to go and check into customs. And the cool thing about that was that I actually checked us in through sailclear.com, which is something that they are doing here and amongst some other islands. So if you're coming to these islands, check out sailclear. It made the process way easier. And then we went through immigration and then another person. I'm not sure what they were doing. And then back to the boat. But here in St. Lucia, there are 110 cases that have occurred the entire of the entirety. There's only 78 uh, cases right now, but they are on a little bit of a hind aware of doing covering mouths and keeping social distancing. So this will be a little bit of a different experience for us here. Whereas in St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we weren't really experiencing any of that because there were zero cases, active cases. Yeah, and you can tell that people are a little more on edge here. We did a little bit of walking around, and um, ev pretty much everybody had a mask on. Yeah. Outside and around, so our little group, we know that we are safe and sound, and we'll be probably hanging out a lot together. Just trying to stay respectful of the islands and what their requests are. But now we get to put up our St. Lucian flag. <laughs> Sailing community is pretty strong here in St. Lucia. Uh, looks like they're gonna do a little day race. It's Sunday, so it's beautiful out. Why not? There's probably about five boats. The only reason we noticed is because they like whipped really close to us pretty fast. They look like little J boats, but I don't know. You guys probably tell better than I can. I don't. I don't know my little racing boats too well.
<laughs> it's so cool seeing these guys race around the anchorage. I'm not sure how I feel about them ink racing around our boat though. <laughs> yeah, the one guy's getting a little close, but they definitely know what they're doing. Looks like the guys in the orange boat over here won. And then in second, Grayling. And I think this white boat right here, they came in third. We're gonna go have a barbecue over on our friend's Too Short, which we are bringing the fish that we caught on the way down here. Or up here. And Brandy found this amazing Cajun blackened seasoning it smells good. recipe. So we're gonna try that again. But on the grill this time. Last yeah. time she did it on the cast iron. Cast cast iron. Yeah. Which is typical what you do with blackened. blackened fish, I guess. But if you guys want this recipe, let us know. We'll put it down below. Crystal is making bratwurst. So I thought it'd be good if we brought our homemade sauerkraut. It's about ready. It's been sitting on the counter for about three weeks. So nice and fermented. That should be yummy. But we gotta get over there before it starts downpouring on us. Good afternoon. Today is a beautiful day. So we decided to take a little trip. Going into the town of Castries, which is the capital here. There they got a market and we want to get some local food, check out like the different vendors and stuff. Oh. But first we got to get a bus <laughs> to get there. Which will be an adventure in it. So. Buses. Instead of shopping around, we decided to go straight to lunch. So we, we had someone point us over here that this is the best place to go. Yeah, so we're gonna share a little pork meal. Should be good because this place is popping. <laughs> a lot of people at this one particular spot, even though there's like probably at least 30 different places they can go. How much are we Jeez Louise. Wow. <laughs> Avocado, lettuce, beans. Wow, macaroni and cheese. This is definitely not keto, but that's all right. We're not always keto, so especially when we're enjoying the local cuisine. When in Rome. <laughs> yeah, this looks delicious though. The pork is really good. I like the sauce that they have on it. 
It's very uh, savory. It's like eating a really big piece of bacon. <laughs> yeah, it's like pork belly fat. I think that's red fruit. Yeah, it looks like it. Yum. Now that our bellies are unnecessarily full, we are gonna go back to the market and check out what they have to offer. At every corner you turn, all you smell is the passion fruit. It must be in season right now and it is, smells amazing. Ice cream. <laughs> I don't know. Oranges, what? What? lemon. What's the thing up top here? Golden apple. This is lemon right there. Oh, That's wow. not the lemon you guys know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> because I was in Florida for a while and yeah. the lemon is the wrong nice yellow smooth skin. How did you know but, we were from Florida? No, I live there. We live there. Really? Yeah. We're in Florida. Orlando? Oh, Biscay Gardens, yeah. Miami. Yeah. Yeah. So we're used to the wrong yellow little stuff, but that's the actual real lemon. Don't put the citrus close to these. Okay. Because it kind of affect them. Yeah. Yeah, it don't it prevent them from ripening properly. Mm, okay. Do you grow all these or are you getting them from well, the we farm? Well, we grow, no, I buy them to okay. sell back, but all okay. this is grown right here in St. Lucia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Even the watermelon? Even the watermelon. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> no problem. It smells too good to pass up. We really need to get the fashion. We really got to enjoy it today. Okay. Yes. Enjoy. Nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> she was super sweet. She was super sweet. And we were able to get everything we wanted in one jump. And we only paid 30 EC for all that. Such a deal. Let's go to the park and go try some of these fruits. All right, so we found a little spot on a bench in the park. <laughs> and our custard apple didn't really quite make it. He's ready to be eaten. A little too ripe. We did, came very ill prepared and I think Bo's gonna have to actually bite into some of these. We don't have a knife. <laughs> so all four of these fruits were grown here on the islands according to our new friend Elma and we're gonna try them out for you. First up, Bo's already getting into the, what's that called? Custard apple. The custard apple. It is really good. Super sweet. Oh, wait, how do you do it? It looks like a dinosaur egg. <laughs> or a dragon egg. Or a dragon egg. Okay, check that out. Oop. It's almost, it's like meaty, and then it's got like a little seed. It tastes like baby food. Oh my gosh, it's falling apart. <laughs> it's really good though. Oh, it's really good. It's like, kind of like a pear. Yeah. Like a very ripe pear. Super mm. sweet. Really good. How is it? That's really unique. It's sweet, but very tangy, like sour. Oh, that is sour. It's really good though. My face doesn't look like it's good, but it's really good. Yeah, it like makes you perk up. Especially after having it after the custard apple. Because it's so sugary. This isn't as sugary, it's more soury. Passion fruit. One of our favorites. We smelt this all throughout the market. It smells so good. Mm. And it's it's unique. It's yeah. got like a tanginess, right? Mm -hmm. Typically you don't bite into it. <laughs> ah, jeez. Did you just break Oh yeah. It's, it's got like a hollow. thick. Mm. Cool, or like thick outer layer, but it's like gooey on the inside, and it's sour. Mm. Oh, 
You just got it all over me. <laughs> My bad. It can be messy. It can be messy if you don't have the proper tools. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm. It tastes so good. Oh yeah. Have you guys ever had <laughs> passion fruit before? Or any of these that we're, we're trying out? A lot of these tropical fruits are grown down here because they can't handle the frost that you would get in the States. So you're not seeing a lot of this stuff being grown in the States or anywhere that's higher in the equator. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Very high in vitamin C, lots of polyphenols, right? Polyphenols. <laughs> in uh, these, which are really high in antioxidants. Great for health benefits. Mm. And you see a lot of drinks made out of this stuff. Jams and things like that. They're very, it's got a great flavor. Mm. Like guava, almost guava if you guys have had guava and it's, you've never had passion fruit. It's tangy, but not overpowering. Mm. It will make a squinch up a little bit, but there's enough sugar to counteract that it's mm. not so bad. And then there's seeds in it too, but you can eat the seeds. They're very small and crunchy. Mmm. Definitely one of our favorites. On top of cheesecake. Yummy! Oh. <laughs> very, very good. Little fact about their polyphenols. They actually had a study that shows that there's more polyphenols in passion fruit than there are in lychees, bananas, mangoes, mangoes, papaya, pineapple. So really good for, for antioxidants and yumminess. Excuse me, I gotta finish this. And the last but not least, we are gonna try out this sour sop. Did you peel it? <laughs> I've already started peeling it. It's massive. I don't think we need to eat all of it. Oh no, definitely not. Dig in? We're heathens, guys. <laughs> heathens. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes like a, you have it all over your face. Oh, I dug in. It tastes like, kind of like a banana, pineapple. Banana pineapple? Yeah. I remember hearing about soursop years ago. It was kind of on a, everybody's radar about cancer treatment, but it's really good. And I, there's a lot of soursop drinks around here, right? Mm. -hmm. Mm. Seeds are pretty big. Oh my gosh, really good. It's not as sweet as the as the sweet apple or the custard apple. Um, sugar apple? Sugar apple. They're related though. Same family. It's almost got a like more of a pungent mm -hmm. flavor. I don't know how to describe it. It's very mild. Mm -hmm. Now that our fruit tour is done, we are gonna go ahead and head over to one of the largest churches in the Caribbean and check it out. This church is considered to be the largest church in the Caribbean because it's 100 feet wide and 200 feet long. inside is done by St. Lucian Dunstan St. Omer and he's actually the same guy who designed the St. Lucia flag that you see nowadays. That was a fun little day trip but we got to get back to Rodney Bay. There's a little fish fry going on every Friday night and tonight is Friday night. <laughs> Hi 
I just got back from taking Una to shore. Are you all ready? Yep. We are ready to go to the fish fry. I'm not sure what it's like here. We did one in what, Grenada? Yeah, that we took like a two hour bus ride to. Oh, that's right. At least this one's like right offshore or right here by the marina. Garlic sauce. Oh man. This is the barley. Alright, we're gonna let we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this and 